what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be my recap for the boys season three episode one now this this episode is picking up of course a year after season two victoria newman the head exploding congresswoman revealed as a soup in season two is still here and i believe she was also revealed as like a founding director of the federal bureau of super affairs so season three kicks off with an in-universe screening of dawn of the seven the seven are shown taking on stormfront who i believe was played by charlize theron homelander is shown watching from the theater with other members of the seven present at what is now revealed to be a world premiere Huey and Starlight take to the red carpet while Victoria Newman resurfaces on the red carpet as well. There seems to be a lot of tension on this red carpet premiere between the Seven and Huey for obvious reasons. Huey goes to the bathroom and is scared by Butcher who creeps up on him. He informs him about plans being in order but they need a green light from Huey before enacting the mission and Huey says he'll check in with Newman. At a party, Kamiko and Frenchie appear to be searching for something. Frenchie ends up running into a room where a soup named Termite has erupted out of another man's penis. <laughs> Butcher, who is watching everything, shows up and catches the soup before it can harm Kamiko or Frenchie. Huey wakes up next to Starlight and they have a cute little morning ritual session, I'll call it. Huey is still working for that Federal Bureau of Super Affairs. He seems to be liking his office for helping bring down Stormfront. Huey is then shown to have lunch with Newman before he runs into Tony, someone claiming he was here to see Nadia, but the image he points to when saying Nadia at is of Victoria Newman. So it's like, okay, Victoria Newman's name is Nadia? So this raises a question for Huey and of course you as a viewer. Butcher drives into Mallory's location to see Ryan and the two play Connect Four together. They discuss Becca and Ryan has been having nightmares about Homelander killing him. Homelander goes on the air with a, I think this is like a show, yeah, a show Cameron Coleman and explains how he did not know Stormfront was a Nazi. We catch up with Mother's Milk who is celebrating his daughter's 10th birthday. He seems to have left the boys completely and is focused on being a father. Stan Edgar shows off a chemical named V24 that's mar that marketing is testing and one dose gives a soldier 24 hours of soup abilities. We know there's a goal of getting soups in the military from previous seasons already. There's a dispute about putting soups in the service that leads to Black Noir's antics being mentioned as an example. Stan makes comments that hint at Newman's alliance with Vought before we transition back to Newman and Huey having another lunch cover having another conversation over lunch. Butcher and Huey get into an argument over Termite and Vought and his work with Newman or Huey's work with Newman that being. Butcher seems troubled by Huey and Mother's Milk leaving the group. Homelander and Starlight are then shown meeting with Stan Edgar, who makes Starlight co-captain of the Seven. This seems to be a response to her giving good press, while Homelander's Stormfront Association has provided negative press for Vought. Homelander is asked to leave the room by Stan. Stan has a conversation with Starlight and offers her real power, as he calls it, and tells her to think about it. Starlight and Supersonic, who is a character also soup on the reality show named American Hero, this person took Starlight's virginity, it's revealed, and Huey seems bothered by how close they are due to the show and their history together. She talks to Huey about being offered to be a co-captain. She sees it as an opportunity to stand up to Homelander and be a symbol of empowerment, which I will say she capitalizes on very heavily later on in the series or in this season, which you'll see as the episodes air week to week. But back at Vault International, Homelander confronts A-Train about his irresponsible eating habits. Maeve catches this encounter and texts something about needing to talk to needing to talk to them to someone. We don't see who this is at this moment. Homelander goes to visit Stormfront, who is still recovering from her season two finale injuries. Homelander is on a downward spiral because Ryan was taken from him. His position in Vault is also being impacted. And of course, this whole thing with Stormfront is also getting down or getting to him. Maeve is then shown meeting with Butcher, revealing that she was texting Butcher earlier and she delivers a document on Soldier Boy that and that they want to find a weapon mentioned in the document to hurt Homelander. Butcher finds a a pick of payback the former number one supergroup before the seven surpassed them Maeve delivers a dose of that chemical to butcher and it seems a plan has been has been in has been put in place to kill homelander there's an ongoing plan to kill homelander this season back at butcher's house homelander arrives looking for ryan homelander is frustrated with vault treating him like he's obsolete mother's milk 
Mother's Milk's closet reveals he has been doing his own side project involving research on payback despite leaving the boys and Soldier Boy I think primarily is what I remember seeing in his closet. Huey spies on Newman meeting with Tony to end the episode the old friend from earlier in the episode who called her Nadia. He wants to go public about Red River which again is going to be a question mark until the next episode and then Newman agrees then kills Tony after he attacks her. So then, of course, this is the moment where Huey, being there, realizes that, okay, Newman is a soup. She has super abilities. Where do her loyalties lie? Is she in the government? Is this another ploy by Vought to gain more advantages? Or is there something else going on with her? Because at this point, all you have is the fact that you didn't even know she was a soup. You've just now found out she was a soup. How are you going to deal with that? How are you going to react to this? What is your next step going to be? That is how the episode ends. All in all, episode one I wasn't really the biggest fan of it in terms of, okay, it did enough to get me enticed, but it didn't give me the action that I was hoping I would get. Um, you get more of it as this, as this season progresses. You do get more. Episode one is not a bad episode. It's a fine episode. It does what it needs to do to help push the needle forward. It uh, gives everyone a, it, it does a great job at setting you up at where everyone is in their current life as far as all the people who have made it out of season two, including Stormfront, who again, as you now know, has a brief cameo. So it's nice to have her back for the brief time that she's here. And it's all going to be something I know a lot of you will be pleased with by the time the season is over. There might be certain aspects of the season that as you go on and as my recaps become live on this channel, because I've already seen all the episodes, maybe you'll have different opinions on it, of course, as I do. But I think this season as it progresses is going to be something that satisfies a lot of you. Now, my recaps for this are not going to have all the details of it because I'm not going to go into all the spoiler aspects of it i want you guys to be able to watch the episodes and then just come back kind of have like a idea of what went on by watching them first or if you hear my recap first because i know these episodes air at like 3 a.m or get released at 3 a.m that's fine too but i'm not going to go into all the details and all these recaps some of the things yes will be vagued up but let me know what you guys thought about episode one down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications. you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future what is the thing you're looking forward to the most in this season are you excited about where things go how do you think um newman's revelation as the soup is going to impact everything going forward uh let me know all that down in the comment section below and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video